they got a number of children here. They have about, I believe, 50 children last night in the school, and uh, they're having a good time. But we're going to have a good time in the Word of God. And uh, I want to welcome uh, Sister Sue and Brother Jane Wyatt home. Well, and we just love the Wyatts, they're part of us, and we all please rejoice when they come home in the winter <coughs> and after the fall camp meeting, and we're always sad to see them have to leave. They're down here now on some medical uh, things. We want to pray for Brother Gene uh, Wyatt, he's seen uh, keeping a medical appointment or two, and we want to pray for him and Sue also, the both of them. And uh, we want to um, we want to ask God to help them while they're down here, give them a special touch. And then we want to pray for um, Tom Walker tonight. He's an intensive care in the uh, Manatee Memorial, CCU Manatee Memorial. And he's not doing good at all. Uh, according to the medical standards. So you don't know Tom. He's been here uh, a couple of times, but I know him. He's a sweet man, a sweet brother, and loves the Lord. And we want to pray for Tom Walker tonight. And then we want to remember Sister Lorraine Caldwell. She's now right up the street from us in the same home as Sister um, Willie Langford is. Braden and Oaks just up the street. But um, the move from Riverview and uh, all that's happened, Malcolm's untimely death uh, and losing Malcolm that's right. has been so traumatic for her. Yes, it has. And she's 88 years of age and it's very hard on her. So let's pray for, um, let, let's pray for Lorraine and Ginger, her daughter, and the family. It's sad when a family is going through uh, dysfunctional areas after the mother and dad get something years and then one goes on. So let's remember that family. Um, Sister Judy's here, but let's keep her in prayer. She's recovering from knee surgery. And then we want to pray for those in the nursing home. I saw Brother Hank's mother. She'll be 100 years of age very soon. And uh, she needs our prayers, our thoughts. Uh, Sister Barbara Hine, Christine Robinson. Um, there's others that are, Brother Rhodes is out in Las Vegas. And Sister uh, George. <coughs> Control and uh, let's remember them and uh, then remember uh, the rest of God's family that may be scattered in one place or another and uh, keep them all in prayer. Ask God to help them. Uh, come on in, there's room for all. Wow, what a good place for our crowds coming in. And we do, we didn't know that uh, what it would be tonight because we. Announced Vacation Bible School as well as Wednesday night, so it's turning out great. And I'm just thrilled to have everybody. I want to welcome uh, a new couple. They just don't live very far from the church. Here, this is their first time uh, here. This is Sister Willie. Hold up your hand, Sister Willie. I've got two Sister Willies now. And this is Brother Wiley. So there's Brother Wiley and Sister Willie. Wiley and Willie. We are thankful for them. And this is their first time here. And we want them to be at home. They don't live very far from the church. We want them to uh, know they're welcome in this place. And they will be back over the weekend, we hope, and pray over Saturday and Sunday. We've been having some great meetings, the Lord's been covering the church, we had a tremendous outpouring Saturday and Sunday, and uh, we're thankful for that. Uh, let's remember God's people. Sister. Could we add Bill to the prayer list? He said he felt like he had a heart. 
heart attack today, so he's staying home tonight to rest. All right, let's pray for Brother Bill Scholl. Uh, he didn't have a heart attack, but uh, I, I, if you tell him that, he'll probably say, how does Brother Marlon know I didn't have a heart attack? Tell him I usually know. Uh, I usually know. I don't think he'd be sitting at home with you. Uh, you know, but, he said he'd over exert himself and you know, yeah. chest hurts and his arm hurts. Yeah. I felt like I had several heart attacks recently, but I didn't. <laughs> 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 Amen. If you, if you, have a, feel like you have a heart attack and say you don't, you've got a pretty good start in not having it. <laughs> so just, uh, uh, just praise God you're breathing. And, and uh, you know, we thank God for every one of you all who are precious. And let's pray for God's people. Uh, I pray for God's people more than I ever have. And I know that we all need prayer. Pray for the assemblies. Pray for the churches. Pray for the ministry. Uh, ministry is leading the sheep. And uh, I'm sure the ministry is going to have to answer in a day of judgment for the way they lead the sheep. Uh, let's pray God will help uh, the church, help the people of God, help the ministry, and give them direction in their lives. Thank God for a safe place where we can have a haven of rest. Uh, is there any more requests for prayer? Brother Marlowe, Sister Betty Williams is sick. Sister Betty Williams, yes, let's remember her tonight. And uh, <coughs> her. Brother Paul. Uh, Sister Cindy and her mother, and uh, Sister Brenda Baggett, and also Brother and Sister Tracy out of town. Yes, thank you, Brother Paul. Uh, Brother and Sister Tracy are out of town. They're vacationing up in Ohio. Uh, Brother David Tracy. Appreciate Brother Brian being back there taking care of things. The sound room. And um, let's pray for Sandy, Sabrina, David. Sister Hofer's also away. And then uh, pray for Cindy, all his wife, Trencher. And of course, the condition with uh, Sister Fanny Dozier. And uh, Jenna, her daughter, there, pray for that need, that condition. All right. Any other needs? Any other? Uh, Sister Anna? Keep my son in prayer. Yes, he was here Sunday night. We encourage him to stay and get into the church. Pray for Sister Margaret Frost. Always remember her. And anyone else you can think about, know about, concerned about. Pray for our children, our uh, offspring, God will help them all of their quandaries, decisions, and uh, places to go through. Sister Farias. Sister Farias, Sister Lee Farias, let's pray for her. Oh, Brenda, Brenda, he, he mentioned Brenda, Brenda, Brenda Baggett did go home, didn't she? Yes. She was in the hospital, but she went home. <laughs> all right, let's remember, yes, with Ernest. Father, she went home with her. <coughs> Praise the Lord. I feel a good spirit. I feel a good spirit. I feel the good spirit of God. And let's pray right now. Could we, you know, uh, you're going to be sitting, so if you will, if you would, why don't we rise up and let's talk to the Lord here. Father, we all just rise up together. We we plead the blood tonight. We come before you in this Wednesday night Bible study and fellowship time. We plead the blood. We just call on the name of Jesus. We call on the worthy name of Jesus. We call on that blood Lord, name of Jesus. We thank you because we're here and we're here to do your will. We're here to serve you. We're here to walk before you. We're here to love you. And we're here to give ourselves to you, Lord. And we pray that you will bless your people and go with your people and uh, reach down for your people. Let your people take your hand and walk with you tonight. Oh, Jesus, remember, remember, Lord, 
the sick and the afflicted, and the unspoken requests that are not even made. Everyone has an unspoken need here tonight, and the spoken need. Lord, remember your people. Remember the children of God. And we pray that the sweetest spirit will prevail among your people. We pray that the love of God will just be overshadowing us and encompassing us. And Lord, we pray for the joy of the Lord to be our strength and to go with us. We pray tonight for the sick and the afflicted. We pray for the ministers. We pray for the assemblies. We pray for the churches, Lord. And we pray for your people. We pray for the children of God everywhere, in every need, every need they have, every need they have. We know that your people are precious. We know that you love us, and we know tonight you forgive us, and we know you can take care of your people. You said, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, heal their land. Lord, we pray tonight in the Holy Ghost. We pray in the Spirit of God. We pray in the Holy Ghost, Lord. We are not anything. We can do nothing. Forgive us of our mistakes. Lord, forgive your people and let your people be knitted together one mind, one accord. We believe the truth of the word is here among your people. We believe the Holy Ghost is present. We believe the word of God is present. We believe you're a giving God, a saving God, a cleansing God, a forgiving God. Oh, Jesus, we love you. We love you, Lord. Praise your name. We love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you tonight. Lord, we love you tonight. Oh, Jesus. Reach down with your hand. Reach down with your love, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Fill us, Lord, every day. Let us walk with you, Lord. Let us walk with you, Lord. Let us walk with you, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Let us walk with you, Lord. Let us walk on, Lord. Let us walk on. Let us walk on, Lord. Praise your name. Praise your name. Praise your name. Oh, Jesus. There's an answer, Lord, in you. You're at the end of the day. Hallelujah. You will not forsake us. You will not leave us, Lord. You will not turn away from us. You will help us. Oh, that you will help us. You will help us, Lord. You will help us, Lord. You will help us, Lord. You will help us, Lord.